All right, guys, you all love the trash fish catch and cooks. Well, guess what? We got a blue runner here. We got a horse side jack. And what is that? Another horse side jack. The, uh, no, that's a horse side jack. Cravel. It is? That's yeah. a canal too. Oh, yeah, no, that, that's a regular jack reel. We got different. We got different jack species. You guys see that horse side jack? So we're doing a trash fish catch and cook today. Trash? Nice. Not yet. It's your boy. Man, the jacks are definitely out there. You tripled up. Mangrove. We're pulled. They're definitely sitting here in our trumps. Like, I got my shrimp back. Thank you. There we go. Another mango. What is that? Is that a horse eye jack? No. That's a horse eye jack. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. I think I'm in him too. That can cook. I don't know, this one's staying down. What is it? A jack. Oh, it's a, no, it's a runner. Runner. Mangrove. doesn't need to be measured. No. Hell yeah. I think I doubled up with you, Chris. Damn it. Uh, yeah. The big I ones. There was a giant one back there that kept stealing me. There we go. It's blown offshore. We tried to make it offshore earlier. That didn't really work out for us. Cam brought his dive stuff and uh, it was way too murky. Uh, Chris dove all the way down to the bottom and couldn't see his face until it was what until you were at the bottom Until I ran into a sea fan. Yeah, <laughs> he was in 30 feet and he ran into a sea fan So definitely not a good day for diving or reef fishing or reef fishing That wasn't the response I was hoping to get. Whoa. Whoa, you pulling Ho ho Dinner, there he is. Dinner, son. Not bad. See if we got a cooler full of those, we'd be in the meat. There's areas where it drops off to 20 foot. Okay. And it's grass spots around And it's protected by island. If you chum, they're gonna come. I was on the way in. Oh damn, look at that. That's a fatty. Keeper, keeper, keeper. Live shrimp. I got the biggest one of the day. Take a picture. We can't all be shots. <laughs> oh, pulled hook, but that was a mangrove We're on the jig. On we are on. What do I say? Everything in the ocean eats oh, that I white jig. No. Oh, dude, it's straight in the hook. That's a good one. Whoo! Can you get a rock? I don't think so. Rockfish don't pull back. What's going on, guys? Victor here. And like I said, I'm in the Keys with Brooke right there. We got Heather, which is Cam's girlfriend. You guys have seen Cam in a video before. And Chris Lowe, my Sebastian buddy. And I got a special treat for you guys today. So you come over here to this fillet table. We did some snapper fishing. And uh, we have a bowl full of mangrove snapper fillets right there. Didn't get on any giants because it was very, very bumpy offshore. So we had to stick around the bridges and it was just not favorable favorable conditions. We got a cold water up well and the water is real cold. But check these guys out. There is a smorgasbord, smorgasbord of trash fish, so-called trash fish. We got a horse side jack right there. Um, I don't know if I've, ever, if I've ever showed you guys this on the channel before. We got a jack cravel right there and then we got a blue runner. So we're out here. We're going to do some cooking tonight. I think we're going to fry up all these fish and we're going to see the, t the difference in taste, the quality of the meat between all these jacks right here and then the mangrove snapper, which is a, a fish you guys would get in a restaurant. So stay tuned because it's about to get 
interesting. All right, guys, I'm behind the camera, and Cam is going to fillet these bad boys up. Starting with the Blue Runner. We've already eaten Blue Runner before, and it was actually pretty tasty. But I'm just interested to see the difference in um, the meat, just side by side between the Blue Runners, the mangroves, and everything else. That one's actually pretty white. The Blue Runner is not very bloody. Look at that. Com look at it, seriously. Compare it to the mangrove. And then now this is the Jack Crevel, which I think is going to be very red. Maybe not. And it probably makes a big difference, guys, too, is the fact that we're eating juvenile. The older a fish gets, usually it gets redder and redder and bloodier. But this is the Jack Crevel. Very tough, you could feel. But there's the Blue Runner, there's the Jack Crevel, and now here's the Horse Eye Jack. Don't forget the cheek meat. <laughs> Everyone always comments that too. So let's see which one looks the best out of these three. I think the horse side, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh sure. yeah, look at that. So that there looks is more like a yellow jack. Yeah, horse side jack, very white, which you guys know, usually whiter fillets are associated with being less fishy, less bloody, less oily. There is horse eye, there is jack corral, there's blue runner, and there's mangrove snapper. So not a very big bloodline with the horse eye jack. I think and I can then, see the bloodline from here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is what people don't like. This is what people who say fish are fishy don't like is this bloodline right here, especially after you freeze it. That's the part of a fish that will get very fishy and foul tasting. And then now let's see the blue runner. Blue runner's a little grayer. All right. Alright guys, we are in the kitchen now. Hopefully you enjoyed that epic pelican b-roll. I told you guys I want to get serious about the filming skills. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Now, here we have the two plates. This is the mangrove snapper, and you guys see it is much, much whiter than the blue runner, the horse side jack, and the jack corral on the left right here in my hand. And that's one reason that people think trash fish are trash fish, because if you look at this, it looks more appetizing. There's less blood on it. It just doesn't look as good, but what I'm gonna do is me and Chris are gonna fry them up. We're gonna know exactly which fish is which, and we're gonna let everyone taste to see if there's an actual difference. Because when you fry fish, you really can't tell. It all turns the same color. So we're gonna see if Heather and Cam and Brooke behind the camera can tell the difference between the trash fish and the mangrove snapper. That is the saying, you can fry shoe leather and it'll taste good. So yeah, I guess we'll find out. So let's get to cooking and what we got going. Chris has a... Uh, we're gonna just do, keep it simple. We're in the keys. We didn't bring a lot of stuff down here. We're just frying fish. Went to Winn-Dixie, picked up this stuff. It's Japanese panko breadcrumbs. This is not gonna be a catch and cook like you guys are used to seeing here. And then Chris is making his world famous coconut rice, which I'm excited to try. I love coconut. Gotta have the Coco Lopez. That is the key ingredient. Jasmine. I use jasmine rice. Uh, comes in the white and purple bag up top. I cooked the whole bag. You do the whole bag and you use a whole Coco Lopez. You're gonna cook your rice first. Once your rice is all the way done, then you mix this in at the end. You use the whole can. I also use... Bushes. Bushes. Black beans. That's my preference. So you gotta mix up some eggs to dip the fish in first, and then you're gonna dip it in the uh, panko. I have my oil heating up on low right now. So pretty much you're gonna grab yourself one of these fillets. I like to do thinner fillets because they cook faster and also you can get more breading on them. Dip it in the egg, throw it on the breadcrumbs, push it down on both sides. So on our plates, folks, we got fish on the left, fish on the right. So everybody try the fish on the left and let's see what you think. It's good. Slimy. It's good? The one on the left? Tastes like fried fish. Okay, Cam, what do you think? 
Fried fish. I think you have to Fried just fish. taste both taste of them. Taste both. Taste both and see if you guys actually taste the difference. Yes. You taste the difference? Mm -hmm. The one on the right is way better. Mm -hmm. The one on the right is way better? So That's the trash fish. That's no, it's the not. Yes, it is. Yeah, it is. Yes, it is. My plate got switched. No, it's oh, not. <laughs> This was a bigger fillet! I'm telling you! I'm not gonna you. lie. Me and Victor knew right side of trash fish, left side was the mangrove. Right side mangrove, yeah. They, no. No, the opposite. They both said you can see it's a little that darker. the trash fish was better. And honestly, I think it has more flavor. It yeah, does. because it's It oilier. does, doesn't it? It, it has definitely more has flavor. more flavor. I'm telling it's you guys, it's good. It definitely has more flavor. Yes. And that's what they said, it has more flavor. Heather was so sure that that was going to be the mangrove snapper, didn't she? This is no. the snapper. Look how white that is. Yes, the same thing as everything this else. This stuff is still white, too. Whatever. It's fried. Just eat it. You guys are horrible. He's just disappointed because How's my he rice? was so against the fact that the trash fish was going to be good, and he likes it, and now he's upset. That's what happens. What about my rice? Cam, honestly, though, did you, feel, did you see a difference between the two? Not too much. Fried fish is fried fish, honestly. I'm telling you, dude, we could have fried up my dang so boot. Candid. It would have tasted good. Heather, no difference. The trash fish is better. The trash fish is better. Dude. I like that. Mm -hmm. Chris, don't be arrogant. Come on. They're both they're both good. I would eat both again, hands down. Uh, the left side did have a little bit more flavor than the right. <laughs> so, probably the jack. We switched your plate. I'm sure you <laughs> did. Yours. I know, you guys are out to get me. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Please remember to keep an open mind on the water and in the kitchen, and I'll be seeing all you guys, my land sharks, in that next video.